believe what I found for you. This really checks all the boxes. And it borders with this waterfall, which you see in the back. The size of this property is just under 19 hectares. It has a registered rural construction, which has a new insulated roof and all the preparation for electrics and plumbing. It has two boreholes, two wells, a water pump, and another ruin to renovate. This is a real gem, people. The access is by dirt roads with any car. It is six kilometers from the state of Rambo City, and it, the property is just surrounded by nature. I already went to the council of Cristelo Branco and I talked to an architect about this property. It has all the conditions to do the tourism project. Um, the part on the top of this property is okay to build or to do a tourism project. This part near the river and the waterfall is an ecological zone where you cannot build, obviously, but you have enough space up there to do whatever you plan to do. I'm now filming the start of the property. It starts here, so you come from this road, starts here, and then it goes down this hill to the river. And this is also where the well is, the first well. And then on this side of the road, this is also already the property. It's all fenced. This is born hole number one and borehole number two is up there. Oh, this is also the property. This is the end. This is the end. Very easy. And then the well is over here. I'm here at the entrance of the property, the entrance gate, and um, so this part is also still included. This part goes to the river. Go 
down this hill to the river that goes all around. This is the rural construction. These are the tubes coming from the borehole. Let's go around to get in, I think. So from this building you can make a one bedroom house. This would be the kitchen and living room. There's already a fireplace. And there's supposed to be a kitchen. All the wiring is prepared in the walls. This would be the bathroom. Plumbing also prepared. And this would be the bedroom. Dark, but... You got it. And then on the back of the house, the water tank, the vineyard. You could already see it from the images of the drone. You saw the water line. That's actually the border of this property, so it goes down here and it makes like a curve with the water line. Okay, so now from the house, I'm going to walk down. Oh, this is not the path, is it? <laughs> I'll show you where the water is, where the water line is. We were just up there. Estes são os tais de uh, citro, limão, caviar. Ah, é aqui. É. E este aqui também, mas este também. Ah. Este ainda cá tem fruto. Oh, yeah. It's a caviar lemon, they call it. Uh, a gente, na Suíça, a gente chamava citron ou caviar. Ah, esse já arrebenta, tá? isto agora já está. Isto por dentro é assim. Ah, já. Yeah. <risos> Parece que foi mesmo caviar. Uh, mas ele tinha cá mais, mas agora já caíram, poxa. <risos> então, aqui no chão ainda. Pô. E é bom. Olha, <risos> leva para provar, se quiser. É bom. Este ainda está. Isto, eu acho que isto é mais, 
para hmm, fazerem. Vou check how this em, tastes later. Não sei se em cocktails, se qualquer coisa assim. Por isso está hum. uma, mas o resto está. Tenho que o tirar. Ok, from the caviar, we're going down. This is just a um, fence to keep the animals in. So here, down here is the border, which is the water line, the river. And then it goes around and eventually to the waterfall. Beautiful spot here as well. And protects his fruit trees from the goats. Que é isto? Ah, almond. It's already a big one. This is really a property with beauty around every corner. There you still have a nice flat space. Then we arrived at where the animal stays. Onde é que elas andam hoje? Os animais? Sim. <risos> não, por causa, por causa da praia. The animal sheds. Chickens. Chickens and ducks. Well, the animals also have a nice view. Huh? The water is down here. Where the water is. We're on this side of the property. I'm gonna put a map in this video. And the property is until. Oh, this valley over there. There's actually pools. And uh, it goes the back of this hill. And then also there is the well, the back of this hill. I asked the owners how many olive trees they have. They have no idea. Never counted them, but they're spread all around, as well as um, stone oaks or holm oaks, 
and also some cork oaks. This is a track that comes from the house. It goes all around. Hi. Here's the house. <laughs> and then at the back of my car, let's say, that valley going down is the waterfall. And I'm also going to show you the ruin that's here. The ruin is facing that valley and from here you actually already hear the waterfall this would be great for a guest accommodation Father Raw is down there. This is the ruin. The ruin is also indicated on the map, on the canister map. If these trees weren't so high, you could actually see the waterfall. But from here, you can see the river running. You probably don't see it on camera, but it's going like this. You can see it with the naked eye. Strange weather today. It rains and then there's, there's sun and it rains again and then comes the sun again. The other part. It's quite big. Around twelve meters long. What have you? About four meters deep. Then you have this nice feature of the wall, the rocks. Okay, I'm gonna go back in my car and show you the rest. I just came from this track and I parked my car here and we'll walk down to the waterfall because down there there's no space to turn around. There's another track coming from the other side but these two are not connected so for now, you have to walk. From here, you already hear the waterfall. I don't know if you you see it. I see it, and it is here.
getting louder and louder. And my smile is getting bigger and bigger. Amazing. There it is. Now I'm going to hike down. And there you see the continuation of the river Just down here. And the border of the land is behind this hill where there's a track going down. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go there because obviously already been there once to explore and I took the road like zigzagging going down but when we came back up we took the upper road which was easier but <laughs> now I'm taking the road in the middle so I had to go back a bit because I thought I was smarter but uh, no, this is the road. I'm not picking the easiest road. <laughs> so we first on the seat to part. This is still the property, so the waterfront continues all the way to the start of the property. Oh, look at all these terraces going up. Beautiful.
there are probably more little waterfalls up the stream. But this is the biggest. I have no idea if you hear me, but you know, <laughs> we're at the bottom of the waterfall. And this is just amazing. Wow. Continuation of the river over here. What a dream. this video tour as much as I tried to film it as good as possible it is of course nothing compared to seeing this in person if you're interested in this type of property for living or for your project you should come and see it in person you can avoid a viewing with me by sending me an email at info at thank you for watching